What is up guys? It is Sticks here and today I'm going to be showing you guys another sick PvP build to run this weekend in Trials. If you're not the most confident player or if you are and you want something that's a little bit more interesting, I'm going to recommend this setup, which is going to be revolving around the Mask of Bacchus with the Trespasser sidearm, and usually it's going to be either a hand cannon or if you also have Syncopation, a role you like to use, the Stasis Pulse Rifle, that is also very usable here. I'm using a Rangefinder IS Luna because I really like the feel of the weapon. I typically switch between two roles. More recently, I've been favoring Rangefinder Demolitionist because the extra grenade up time is nice, but I can also recommend Rapid Hit Kill Clip if you're wanting to rely more on Ayas Luna than the Trespasser. So getting right into the subclass, you're going to be running Revenant. You'll be wanting to use the Gambler's Dodge so that dodging near enemies fully recharges your melee. Strafe Jump for the directional control. The melee you can't really change. And I'm going to be recommending Dusk Field here. There is another variation of this kind of build that I might make another video on because it's quite different. But for this, I'm going to recommend Dusk Build because not only does it have some offensive potential, it also can be used fairly well to give yourself some damage resist. I recommend running this with Touch of Winter so that your Dust Field Grenade has a larger size on the slow field and has a small stasis crystal, this is necessary and Winter Shroud, so that our Bacchus Dodge leaves a little aura of freeze and slow nearby where we do it. This makes it so people have a much harder time reacting to where you will be Bacchus blinking to, and as such, you can get more consistent kills with your Trespasser. Now for your Fragments, I highly recommend Whisper of Shards. Shattering a Stasis Crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional crystals increases the duration of this benefit. One crystal gives you 5 seconds of the buff, two crystals gives you 10 seconds, and it does not go past 10 seconds, so only ever shatter one or two crystals at a time. If an enemy is using Glacier Nade, or if you decide to put on Glacier Nade instead of Duskfield, that is my recommendation to you. Whisper of Durance, the slow that you apply to targets lasts longer. This applies to both your dodge, your dusk field, and your melee. This means that you can actually get freeze off a lot more than you might think. That can be very useful when dealing with more campy opponents. Whisper of Chains, while you are near frozen targets, which plays into the longer slow, or a friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage from targets. This plays into a lot of the upgrading your dusk field with touch of winter because this gives you a slow radius so if something tries to push into you they start getting hit with slow and you have a stasis crystal you can take advantage of and then just break it right when it's at the end of its uptime and finally whisper of torment when you take damage from targets you get grenade energy this is just really useful you can get your grenade almost every single round of a trials game using this which makes it extremely useful to have now, going more so into the armor for the Mask of Bacchus, when you dodge, you instead shift. This makes it so that you have a longer range, it's faster moving, extremely difficult to react to for most opponents, especially after the slow, and you're partially cloaked during. It makes it very hard to see you. After you shift, your stasis and arc weapons will deal increased damage for a short time. This allows Trespasser to, with the normal attacks, to burst an enemy, and with the upgraded, with the six shot, it one shots. And this can be used to 1v3 entire teams in trials. It's extremely surprising how much usage you will get from this just from people not knowing it's a thing and not realizing the, how much danger they're in. Now, onto the mods for my armor. You can pause here, screenshot, whatever you need in order to copy it if you need, but I'm going to explain them real quickly. Arc targeting and double harmonic targeting, which in this case is going to be stasis. This basically just helps with making it feel more snappy and increases the accuracy of your weapons. I run impact induction and focusing strike so that when I'm using my melee ability, I get a bit extra energy on my grenade and class ability, which lets me use my mask of Bacchus shift more and lets me use my dusk field more for that damage resistance and slow. I also like to run some arc dexterity. Trespasser has a lot of great stats. Handling is not one of them, so I do this to supplement that a little bit. For my chest piece, I go with double unflinching, one for each weapon. For my legs, I go with absolution, innervation, and orbs of restoration, so I can have as much uptime on my grenade as possible from this, or any abilities that just in general have a low cooldown in that moment. 
And on my dodge, I like to run double distribution and bomber. This is to once again, give me more uptime on all of my abilities. The stats I like to run with this setup are maxing out my mobility and my recovery. If you can also reach tier three resilience while doing so, that would be phenomenal. I cannot, so I focus specifically on this. After that, while my armor does not really allow for it, I do prioritize my discipline for that grenade uptime, but it doesn't hurt to have some intellect as this can make a big difference in trials as you will get your super back a bit more quickly, which can give you the jump on certain bubbles and well users. As far as weapons go, in my kinetic slot, I will be using the stasis hand cannon IS Luna. If you do not have any stasis hand cannons, because there's also the new prophecy judgment, which was changed to stasis in this reprised version, you can go and get that. It's very easy to solo prophecy right now. I actually have a banner of war Titan build, which can do it extremely easily. Even if you're not going for flawless, you can just end up accidentally getting it because of how hard it is to die. So I'll link that in the top right. But if you are not wanting to use double primary, completely understandable, I can recommend the Fractathist shotgun. It rolls quick draw opening shot. So if you have one of these, I would recommend using it. And if you do not want to run anything stasis here, I can recommend Shepherd's Watch or the Wastelander or something along that effect, any weapon you want really. And the necessary weapon in my opinion is going to be the Trespasser Exotic Sidearm. This is an arc sidearm and it has the effect of reloading after defeating a target causes the next burst to be longer and more powerful. It basically is a double burst that does extra damage, meaning that that burst will instantly kill a guardian with this setup. In addition to that, when you get final blows with these bursts, it auto reloads the weapon and provides you another burst. And with the catalyst, reloading after defeating a target greatly increases your target acquisition and your ADS speed. This overall turns it into an absolute monster for close range PVP, which you can force using the Mask of Backers Blink. If you can isolate one of the members of their team, which typically there's someone that's going to flank or at the very least someone that's going to be at the back line, and you can very easily get in, kill them, reload, and then start ripping up their whole team, which will open up your team to push in as well. For your heavy, I recommend using whatever you want. I've been having a lot of success with Cry Mutiny, with Hullabaloo, the new Guardian games, Wave Frame Heavy, or any sort of like machine gun or anything like that, depending on how ammo efficient you want to be. Overall, that is the build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to make this one a little bit quicker, but overall, I've been having a lot of success with this, especially against people who don't fully understand what it is this build does. Because even if they try to stay far away, Ice Luna still gets that damage buff. So yes, please enjoy yourselves. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you need a dim link, that'll be in the description as well. Peace gamers.